So today's video is coming to be full review of season seven, part B of the next step. It basically goes from episode twelve to episode twenty-four. So we'll start with season seven, episode twelve, to kick us off. The dance they did at the start would have been nice to have had a fresh song because in the second half of the season there were some good songs they used. The girls section they focused on Kenzie and yet she was not doing the choreo as well as Piper and Rochelle. But Amy did the choreo really well. I wish Amy could have done more dancing this season because season six she was so good even in her off season she was so good. Also, no, Lily and Kingston are not the jolly of the group. If I had to decide if I had to prefer Kingston and Lily or Jiley, I'd rather have Jiley. I like how what happened in the last half of the season was recapped because not everyone has seen the first half. But some of they didn't have to show her, they could have just talked about her and just focused on a troop while the Dance Mania crew came into the next step. It's so exciting because it showed the Dance Mania is getting so much closer and so much real. Piper, you can, can't just avoid Finn, you just need to talk to him and Amy and tell them the truth. While Miss Angela does dress to impress, as much as she claims she doesn't dress to impress, she does. I like how the camera crew has come into the next step and they're all just being themselves but acting for the camera. Wow, Summer, you're being selfish, you are not on A Troop, B Troop, and A Troop still need to rehearse. You can't all day have the studio to yourself, selfish bitch. Clea, that was rude. There is a difference between what Ethan said to what Clea said. Ethan said, was polite about it and said how B Troop needs the studio to rehearse its B Troop rehearsal. Cleo was just rude about it. Jude makes a fair point. Piper, you need to, instead of avoiding it and just talk about it, it might upset people. But you have to, like, go along with the upset and just talk about it. Also, Amy deserves to know. I am going to be honest, I do like Miss Andrew and Nick. <laughs> The love group, Amy had high kicks, but that's all she did. Ozzy, Kingston, and Heathcliff all bought it. The trail group, Finn and Rochelle had good lifts. They were well executed. Finn and Kenzie were not so good. Finn and Piper messed up in a few places, but the dance came together. I would rate this dance, this episode 7 out of 10. Next is episode 13 from season 7. Amy and Finn, you can tell are better off as just friends. Amy and Henry get each other. Finn doesn't really get Amy, also doesn't really care about Hen Amy in the way Henry does. Finn, you can tell, just doesn't care about Amy in a romantic sense, and he's more of a caring friend in a way. It's Angela and the no dating bit, that was just weird. Nice to see rehearsing going on. I do ship Kenzie and Kingston a lot. I hate Kingston and Lily. It kind of went off more to the thought it was going to be Kingston and Kenzie because Kenzie went with Kingston to his high school prom. It's great Henry helping Finn cheer up Amy. I do ship Amy and Henry. I don't ship Finn and Amy. I like Ozzy, not so keen on... I like Izzy not so keen on Ozzy. I like how they entered. This whole no dating thing is weird, I'm not gonna lie. Sandra is going a bit over the top with Kingston and Kenzie, like they're not really the most over top relationship. I like seeing Ozzy and Izzy working together as brother and sister. I love Amy and Henry, I like them together. So much so my favourite ship on the next step. I like Kingston and Kenzie, but I don't like their duet. I like Izzy and Ozzy's duet, but I will talk more about that in a later video. 
I like how Miss Angela now does the dating thing properly. Like she wants to like get Kingston, meet Kingston's mum and Kingston over for dinner and all that kind of. I like what Finn did for Amy. I'd rate this seven out of ten. Next is season seven, episode thirteen. Be true, dance summer does not need the lead in every solo section. Some are being the lead, I'm not sure. I can see why people did get annoyed about it because it is a lot, like it is a lot to take having them as the lead when there wasn't really a lead before. Ethan's turns are good. Maya, her leaps were high, her kicks were high. Summer, you don't need to be the lead in every part of the dance. She's just such a selfish bitch. Grace uh, turns, leaps were good. Pete, his hip hop techniques good. Winnie Arrow was not as high as Summer's, but Summer did block her, so. Marcus finds hip hop technique and hip hop and the technique. But good hip hop technique and good technical technique. Summer's victimizing herself in this. As in to make us feel sorry for her, even though I don't feel sorry for her. Cleo did go for it in this dance. Jude had decent extensions. Izzy really brought it in this dance and has a lot of energy. B Troop has good unison sections. Nice to see Emily. Wow, Izzy is so good at Spanish. It's nice to see her. on B Troop and I feel like B Troop is the best it's ever been this season and they're like more rehearsed than A Troop. Nice to see B Troop go to nationals. I like Izzy. Rochelle's dancing is so beautiful. She's a good dancer and Michelle gives good advice. B Troop dance not as good as the dance they did at the start of the episode. B Troop do deserve to go to nationals. I would rate this 8 out of 10. Next is season 7, episode 15. I like Nick, but you wouldn't rip the posters in front of Rochelle. I like Nick and how he's trying to cheer up with a Dance Mania pencil. You can tell he's Dance Mania, Dance Mania, not Nationals, Nationals. Do you agree with Rochelle? I think Nick shouldn't have told Summer in front of Rochelle. Like, Summer's like almost the queen for zero effort. Like, she backstabbed the team and now queen. I respect Piper and wanting to tell Amy the truth which she deserves to know. Finn you can tell doesn't really care about Amy on the fact he kissed Piper and yet he wouldn't admit it because he doesn't want Amy to get hurt even though she will get hurt not knowing about it. I get it is annoying for Kingston the boys don't understand but if he's constantly cancelling plans with the boys to go on a date with Lily then I can understand why the boys are getting annoyed. I like how Nick is excited for Dance Mania. I like how Nick cares about Rochelle. The floor, people walk on it in their shoes. Rochelle, you can tell, is sad. Wow, I could not believe when I saw it in the episode, Michelle's makeup running down her eyes. Would be nice to see Amy and Henry get together rather than Amy and Finn in a relationship. I like Nick and how he understands the dancers and he will, he's like a father figure to them and he likes to figure out what's wrong. Summer, how do you not get it? Rochelle is upset and now you're the absolute face of dance without zero effort. You just keep rubbing it in her face. I don't like Summer. She's such a selfish bitch. like Nick and you can tell he really cares about Rochelle. Piper, I like how good of a dancer she is now. I like the bros. Well done Piper for saying it. I'd rate this episode 8 out of 10 because I really just can't stand Summer in this. Next is season 7 episode 16. Well done Piper for telling Amy the truth and you don't care about the fact Piper wants to repair her friendship with Amy, you just want to be with her. Nice that Kingston wants to help Heath with his her flying but I didn't really like it very much like they could have like taken him to an actual airport and stuff and shown him a plane. You can tell Piper is trying to repair things with Amy. He's still upset and she does have the right to be upset. 
Well, Piper's definitely being honest to Amy. Something Finn's unwilling to do. It's nice to see the boys are trying to help, but I really just did not like that scene. Like, that was my least favourite scene. Look how good Henry is. He's such a passionate dancer. I like how Henry started at the bench and then moved to the main studio. I like how his dance has a storyline. I really do ship Amy and Henry together because I totally... Because they are a better match than Amy and Finn. If you want to know what I prefer Amy and Henry over Amy and Finn, check out would I rather be Amy and date Finn or be Amy and date Henry. I like how Finn is trying to help Piper be friends with Amy again, but he should have told Amy like. It's good that Henry gave Amy a perspective that is different. I like how Amy... and Piper are now friends again, and Amy and Henry are together. I'd rate this 8 out of 10. Next is Season 7, Episode 17. I love how Amy and Henry are together. Can't people in the next step, next deep, read the sign, like. I think the date thing was just crazy and shouldn't have happened. Amy and Henry should just be allowed to go on a date, just the two of them. Nick likes Emily, you can tell. Nick must be Emily's secret admirer. I can tell Nick does really like Emily, like he wants to be with her. This is right, people should be able to read a sign. Gee whiz, that must be exhausting. Keep breaking up, Lily and Kingston. I don't know why they have to constantly do it. Amy came up with a good idea of choreographing a dance to their favourite song and whatever dance is better, the song they choose for Dance Mania. I like Izzy, I like Jude, but she's not the best dancer. Emery's a good dancer, the lifts were amazing. Amy's dance is so good, I like both dances, both songs. Also, Emery's group really killed it, but so did Amy's group. I hate Lily and Kingston, they're the most annoying couple on the next step. Cleo and Jude's friendship are good. Oh, I love Nick and Emily. I so want them to be a couple. It's nice to see Henry and Amy together. Wow, it's nice to see Michelle come back. I would rate this a 7 out of 10. Next is Season 7, Episode 18. Wow, it's amazing to see an A Troop rehearsal for Dance Mania. Wow, you can tell Nick really cares about Dance Mania. Rochelle is so competitive that she made Kingston competitive. Wow, Rochelle and Kingston are so good. They make a great duet for the resurrection round. I do agree with Emily, the next step has turned into a soap opera since Michelle left. And I can see why Michelle's shocked at Lily and Kingston are a couple, because I was shocked. I was expecting Kenzie and Kingston, not Kingston and Lily. See Michelle and Emily back together. Michelle and Kingston are so good. Summer, I think, does kind of make a point about how if Nick keeps throwing them on the side, they're not going to know the guidelines for nationals and they're not going to do their best. Be true, but definitely hard working. Cheap small group dance, the first one they did without the guidelines. I'm not sure about it. There again, both small groups, that wasn't the biggest fun. So check out all the parts to the ranking next step dance is done to the same song because I do talk about her fire dance in season seven. Bring Amy to uh reminds me of age groups let's dance tonight, you know the swing one. Have good technique, they're both good at turnings, both very good at contemporary and they complement each other and have good chemistry. They both did the arrows together. Kenzie and Ethan, boring, basic, not really impressive. And I think Summer does make a good point in the fact that they are nationals, ready and they have it together, but they just need the guidelines to help them out. Kingston is so good, the lifts they did are good. I agree with Nick, it's hard to tell them apart. Well, Emily, I think she was going to leave and she should leave. 
rate this episode 9 out of 10 because apart from the breaking up that was the only thing I really didn't like and obviously summer season 7 episode 19 wow the costumes are here so exciting excited age group we're going to dance mania well summer is gonna audition as a solo she probably will betray b troop how expected of her she's just so selfish when is creative with the models she made it's nice to see something different summer is good for b troop she's not good for a troop cleo's definitely become more hard working on b troop than she was on a troop but we need more clued scenes like Nick, because he likes dance mania and he cares about it. Some Grace are good at tap, and Winnie is is good at giving corrections. It is kind of funny, but they kind of need to bring their love for tap and their passion for tap. Summer does give good advice points. You can tell Summer's going to leave. Dance mania is a big opportunity. Grace are doing one in this dance. Marcus and Grace, I agree with Winnie, are killing it. Marcus and Grace for B Troop is like a Nationals duet. If I had to choose what I think. But the world dance. Ethan was good. Ethan, it's turns. I can never knock. But they didn't really finish the move. They sort of run and forget to finish it. It's a point about Summer because she's been a good teammate to them so they kind of want to be a good teammate to them even though for a troop she wasn't a good teammate cleo's made a point the best point she's ever made in summer you are victimizing yourself i still don't like summer shell's made a good point she's starting to acknowledge stuff while i've never seen michelle talk about in detail about how she's jealous of summer yep i marked I know a two Rochelle for knowing when it's time to go and yet yeah, Rochelle it's time for a new dream. I'd rate this eight out of nine out of ten, I mean. Next is episode twenty from season seven. What's the problem with Rochelle when you're what is the problem with Rochelle doing what she's doing when she acknowledged What's the problem with Rochelle? about getting it an early night she obviously wants to be on top form for the competition to fight about snacks i just found the room arrangement a bit really annoying it's so between michelle and summer is summer is blaming other people for why she went to dance mania as a soloist whereas michelle she's aware of her choices she's prepared to make the choice she's making she's living with that choice is aware that yes she betrayed the team but i need to do this for me and i do respect that but I agree with Michelle, she wants to see what she's capable of on her own, even though it is betraying the team and she will admit choices which Summer still hasn't managed to achieve yet. This is Rochelle's best solo, she starts off slow and then turns it on, the stamina stays up. Cleo's doing a nice thing in supporting Summer despite not really wanting her to go. Emily should take Michelle's offer because she would be making a choice to stick with what she's comfortable with rather than going with that big scary new opportunity. Piper, you're setting too many alarms like Finn's right, he needs an alarm to remind him to eat breakfast because you get hungry. Emily and Nick know the fact that Rochelle's a dance mania soloist whereas Summer didn't even tell them. Well done, Emily. She doesn't panic, she deals with any setbacks, whereas Nick just panics. I like Nick and Emily as a team. Sing hard, so... which is good to see. Nick is right about Emily. Emily is right to not panic, keep rehearsing. They still have time to figure it out, whereas Summer bailed them on the morning of Dance Mania. Meaning they didn't have time to rehearse with Heathcliff. Well done, Finn, for stepping up. Well done, Kingston, for helping words from Emily, done clear for staying, saying to Summer more things will come around. Summer, it obviously sucks but you are not been out to audition for being selfish when I thought you wanted to be with Beatrice but not betray them. 
Henry Smart on Kingston is prepared to Henry Smart on how Kingston and Finn need to prepare their styles and they'll just work on the dance. That is what Summer should have done the last time. Summer instead of Bailey on the team you should have done your not so great solo in Studio One. Well done Summer, you're starting to realise. Summer solo this time, apart from a few impressive moves, the dance was just not really impressive. She didn't really do any impressive turns. Good point. And well done Summer for not wanting to bail on B Troop. Cleo, you do need to snap out of it while A Troop burrassing well. Emily and Nick. I like Emily's going to tell Nick that she's leaving. Kingston and Finn are definitely working hard. Five percent of set the alarms. Finn fell asleep, not good. I'd rate this episode 8 out of 10. Next is season 7, episode 21. Well, Emily, she's so good. She's so organised. Emily knows what to do. Well, it was... It was actually 50% Finn and 50% Piper. If Piper set the right alarms, this wouldn't have happened. Is right and Piper, you should have set the right alarm. I like hotels too, Aussie. Showing the fact that she wants to tell the team her reasons, whereas Summer, she still hadn't done it. She still mad at Rochelle and forget she did it too so she kind of doesn't have the right to be mad with Rochelle because she did it too Summer there's no point staying mad forever, Jude found the right person, Press has such good technique, she flows nicely in her moves she has such good turns, her acro flexibility is so good, Cleo you need to step out as much as it sucks that Summer's left wow the hotel for dance mania is so fancy Done, Michelle, because you want to explain yourself. Summer still is incapable of doing it. That was rude because she has reasons that she wants to say it, so there's no reason to slam the door on her as they let Summer back into the team with no apology or explanation. He makes a good point. Finn needs to the right alarms, and Piper needs to stop worrying. Jude is doing the right thing. Jude makes a good point. I like Jude. Like seeing the team having fun. Yeah, that sucks a lot. Sucks, but they are allowed to be upset with you, Michelle. It's not on your team. She's your competition, so why are you bothered about who she talks to? Tube's dance party. Why should the team care about who Michelle talks to? Mania is amazing, and wow, a clued moment happens. I'd rate this 9 out of 10. Next is season 7, episode 22. This Mania stage looks amazing. While well, I'm so happy that a true went to Mania. Mania. Wow, they got Nick's name wrong. They said, is it Nick? And they thought it was Steve. It is kind of funny, I'm sorry. Like Nick, but I'm surprised he didn't plan for the scenario that happened with Finn and that. But yeah, he planned for every single other scenario, including miss. But he didn't plan for missing flights. I'm taking it Frederick is the main judge. Yep, Maria's the judge I don't like. I prefer Frederico over Maria. Which I'll get into more detail, just keep on watching this video. I like Nick. The subject of being kicked off the dance, I do with agree with Nick. It is the simplest solution to kick Piper off, despite the next step being in a shitty situation. I do respect Rochelle on the fact that she's living with her choice she makes and she knows the consequences rather than doing what someone did and blaming the team for her choices when ultimately at the end of the day it's down to her she made the choice to go be a soloist it's that sucks than just rehearsing in front of piper and ugh, i hate Killy, lily and kingston to the point where i can't even say their names right like nick he makes a great point you might have
left the team but you're still family and I'm still going to cheer for you Dance Mania, this is so exciting This is the funny side you might not get unless you watch it but I think the host of Dance Mania looks nice <laughs> Well J Crews were sharp, they were competitive, they had good technique the partnering was so good. Green with Rochelle, AG have a lot of work to do if they're going to beat this routine. Oh my god, J. Cruz got a hundred, like you saw in the episode that they got a hundred if you watched it. Making a good point. I like how she says the talent is right off the charts. I like Nick and at that moment Rochelle and Nick are my two favourite characters. I love Nick and Emily and I so wish they could be a couple. This is tough because Piper probably hasn't had time to warm up but act Piper that you're connected to Finn even though you probably don't feel like you're connected to Finn. Piper, Finn is trying to apologise, accept the apology because Finn knows he made a mistake. The next step dance, Piper's turns are good, the partnering work and the lifts were good but there wasn't the connection, there was a lack of chemistry. This is good, the turns, the tricks, the intensity was amazing. Shaw does make a good point that this is A Troop's best dance without her. A Troop killed it but I do agree with the judges. I wouldn't quite go as far as Rodrigo but the chemistry was off. Dre Cruz were a good team, they had a good dance. Yay, the next step in the resurrection round. I'd rate it 8 out of 10. Next, I'm going to be talking about season 7, episode 23. That sucks. Despite being in the resurrection round, they're still mad at Finn. They need to get over it. They need to not bring up Ozzy eating a bad sushi burrito and Finn missing his fly are two different things. They just need to stay separate. Lily, you don't need to be rude to Finn, he's trying to make things better, just give him a chance. It's mainly as my favourite competition, the next step I've gone to. Hard Ice, they're so in sync, they use their whole body to dance. Guys, it did feel like it was very easy for them, I do agree with Frederico, they could have pushed themselves a bit more technically. I don't think they'll beat Rochelle unless they push themselves more. They didn't have the wow factor in my opinion. While I agree with Frederico, yes, Rochelle's going to do it, so she just goes into it. So while the world factor's there, what was missing with Hard Ice and it all links together, I agree with Kenzie. She does moves that only she can do. A Troop just need to support their competitors like everyone else did. She cheered for you. Even Nick cheered for her. I respect Rochelle and what she says. Well... Rise to the challenge, Kingston. The next step can be Hard Ice. Yep, Ozzy makes a point. Finn is such a supportive friend to Ozzy. They know how serious it is and they just want to show that they are as much of a competitor as everyone else is on A Troop. It does suck not having the team support. Finn makes a good point. Hard Ice in the resurrection round is so good, but they are comfortable with what they're doing and being a new style. Is that good? Are good, can't I? That sucks. Well, it's nice to have the team supporting, but it does suck when the team weren't supporting Ozzy. To regret her choices, but she is living with her choices rather than blaming the team, which Summer did. She's doing well, and you can tell he's really pushing himself out of his comfort zone, and his pirouettes are good. It's good, I agree with Amy Ozzy's killing it. His turns are good, he's a very charismatic dancer. He put so much effort into this dance. I agree with Rochelle, she is supporting her competitors. A Troop don't support their competitors. I agree with the judges. Ozzy was great. Once I have to agree with me, Ozzy is Mr. Charisma. Yep, the next step should be good. Wow, Finn's so good and definitely winning Piper back. It was so sweet. Is helping Finn is so good. I'd rate it 7 out of 10. Next is going to be the final episode. I feel like the best team was picked. I agree with Ozzy. 
that all the dance battles he did led him to where he is. You can tell Rochelle gets it, but at least she is living with her choices, which I do respect. And she can justify her reasons, which Summer's not able to do. Not have a problem with Rochelle talking to Joan, so I don't understand why a troop should have a problem. That when she's their competitor. Maria is not doing a very good job on who hiding who she wants to win. I think Jay Cruz will win. And then Nick, and we made the right decision because she chose that big scary thing rather than what she's comfortable with. And she's also going with what she wants to do. Nick, I like, he really cares about Emily a lot. You can tell Emily Drupal half excited, half nervous, and they're just clinging on to anything that will calm their nerves. And they're sticking together as a team. Yep, you can see Rochelle knows the talent. That she has the talent enough to win this competition without needing to go the back way into women. It's not cozying up to the judge, she's just going to dance her best. She's going to win fair and squarely. Yes, Piper, that will show up. Tell she regrets it, but she's living with her regrets. This show explaining herself to the team. Yes, Amy, that is so true. Even Henry's right. I wish Summer could have explained herself, like gone to the team, I'm sorry guys, I didn't mean to betray you like that, and then gives her reasons. It is great the team are realising why Rochelle left. They're running over their plan, which I haven't seen all season. Speech to Atroop was so good, so emotional, I don't like Maria. Yes, Rochelle makes a good point. They are only clapping for Jones because they know they're going to lose, which I don't like because they should support their competitors no matter what the situation is with winning or losing. J. Cruz, their dance, they're doing so well. It's so different to their first dance, but the way they incorporated the raft into their dance is so clever. Good, they're so technical. The lifts were high. They the difficulty was there which wasn't so much in their last dance I agree with the judges this the best dance on dance mania the next step their dance to do Alice in Wonderland Summer is Alice which is a good choice Rochelle's a queen of hearts fits perfectly a troop do their best at dance mania I agree with Summer Alice is fitting I feel like Henry and Rochelle are so good in that dance, they were the best dancers. The lift with Rochelle where she runs over on the back was so good. It's sad seeing Emily leaving. I agree with Frederico. He's my favourite dance mania judge. B Trooper doing good, Presley is such a good lead even though she isn't the lead. B Trooper National's ready and they're dancing to an iconic song. The energy's good, the tutting's good, it's a good dance. I would rate this episode 8 out of 10, so hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in another video. Bye.